Hello guys, this is Reality Check and today we are playing some Ace of Arenas and this time I'm playing with Kadar, the ultimate assassin and guys, I must say instantly that I have an epic team, come on I have Patch, um, Ultimate Tank and the Lennon, the healer Okay, so um, the first item, um, I do the damage because if you're assassin you must deal the damage I'm going on the left lane, while my teammates stick to the right side. Um, so the first uh, power you should level up is the flying um, dagger. Because you are an assassin, but that's kind of too OP to have so big range on the assassin. So as you can see, I can easily farm with the blade. Later in the game, I will almost kill them with one shot of the blade. So now I'm basically waiting for enemy to come. Okay, on the enemy team you can see there's a Kadar, Pandora, and a little beer. I forgot his name, but um, this will be a very interesting game uh, for you guys. So as you can see, I came to the middle because no one was there, and I'm trying, trying to defend the game. As you can see, I failed to hit the basic attack, so he kept stunning me and that was a big mistake uh, for me uh, so I'm backing out and I think I'm going to port right now it's just to heal a little bit and then going back to lane yeah um, uh, there are a few ways to play Kadar some of the guys uh, buy the blood skitch first to have that heal um, but I don't really buy that item first because it heals from the damage you deal so if you don't deal any damage, there's actually no point of getting it um, because you will see the enemy killer will come to me uh, sometimes and we will have a separate build and you will see who will be stronger so I would suggest getting damage first and then heals uh, but I took the little healer, um, little skitch, just to have some uh, health sustain uh, I can farm um, longer and get that damage done because as, as you can see there the minions are hitting me but I'm always at max health if I wouldn't have that then I would lose about two bars of health okay so the enemy came um, for the first time and let's see how it goes so he made a big mistake he's not going away um, yeah I didn't manage to get him now no <laughs> I did yeah the range is really really nice on that dagger yeah but uh, he did a big mistake um, trying to kill me because you know you can't kill Kada one on one and with the full health so that was a big mistake from him um, as you can see um, yeah I saw that I have 700 coins and I need just um, 70 more just to buy uh, the Imperial Sword, so I waited um, to get that Imperial Sword. Um, yep, he's really pushing the lane. He wants to get some minions, but you see how low I was on my health, but I still managed to get him down because I had that little life steal. And if you didn't know, uh, if Kader hits an ability and then he hits a basic attack, he stunned, stuns the target. So I threw the dagger, I hit him, he gets stunned. I did ultimate, I hit him, he gets, he gets stunned. So he's not moving at all. And then I hit him with the assault. So he was just done. He couldn't do anything. And that's the biggest problem if you want to engage Kadar alone. Um, so they now are learning. They are coming both the enemy Kadar uh, and the enemy so um, as you can see we have a little bit separate builds he went to the lifesteal uh, went to the damage and this time I was more su successful with my basic attacks and I managed to get him down and again I'm low on health I'm healing a little bit back but those stuns I'm dealing they are just uh, they are too OP guys I'm saying you this honestly like um, I, I, I don't know why I ported back at this time because I actually could kill him um, I wasn't solo, but uh, I, I, I thought like, oh come on, okay, it's it's going great. I don't want to give them the kill because as you keep, as you can see, the enemy Kader came also. So I think I would be dead if I wouldn't have gone away. 
So I'm j I will draw a few daggers right now. As you can see, they have a good range and they deal uh, pretty decent damage. And I can just uh, farm the minions with my assault. I'm trying to stay back. He hit me with the daggers also. It was a good throw. So I'm I I, I, I wow I hit him. Um, yeah, I thought he was in the bush, but he wasn't. But I still managed to hit him. So now I'm going after the enemy Kadar, missing my flying dagger. <laughs> he missed his assault also. Yep, I'm trying to dodge his daggers because I know he can throw them also. And uh, and this will be funny. You see, the patch is coming, and he grabbed the minion, <laughs> so we can now get the farm. <laughs> yeah, but the. Uh, Patch was doing really, really amazing job in this game. He was really great. As you you will see, um, he he will kill. He will be godlike also. So I'm just um, staying back with my minions and just trying to throw some daggers at the enemy. And um, as you can see, the Lanet is a little bit of trouble, um, but. She's doing all right because uh, she's a support. She ha doesn't have a big damage, um, but she has a nice sustain. So she will be uh, really nice support in the end of the game. Um, okay, Patch went back. He thought that I was in trouble, but now he's back in the middle, and I'm just getting farm, uh, getting um, some money, and trying to buy something. So um, yep, I got got the blood sketch at the moment. Um, I don't know really why, um, sometimes I go with more damage, but uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, so, I don't know, I don't know, uh, basically, oh yeah, they are going in the middle, that's why she went away. Um, yep, I will go help them now, because they are in a big trouble. As you can see, he still manages to give damage to them. Got double kill with half HP left. And so, he was doing really amazing job. Um, yep, just trying to stay at the enemy tower, uh, doing as much damage as I can. Because as you can see, we are in a pretty big lead, about 20 minions ahead. And that's what I'm just basically doing, I'm making a hard game for them. Okay, uh, with Kader you have to remember uh, to be stealthy, uh, to never rush um, when you don't uh, need to <laughs> kill steal. So, uh, yep, he, he's just too late, he's 1 versus 3, but I managed to kill him all alone. So, yeah, with Kader you have to remember to um, be in the bushes, be in the other side of the map, because if you will be on enemy side, they will just run away, you won't be able to uh, kill them. So, as you can see in the whole uh, gameplay, I'm sticking to my minions, sticking to my side. Um, and I'm trying to throw some daggers at them. That does amazing amount of damage. And those little pokes that can just kill the enemy team. So, as you can see, just sitting back on my side, waiting them to come to me. And if I can, I hit the tower. So, as you can see, he, he's coming. I'm just chilling back. I don't want to engage. Uh, through the dread dagger, I see him. And I know I can kill him. Then I'm moving on and killing him. And uh, now I'm just taking on the tower, uh, I will take it out at the moment. And just uh, playing like that, because with Kader you, want to, you never want to be on the front line of the fight. You want to engage when uh, they are hitting your enemies or from the bushes or they don't know you are there. As you can see I'm waiting right now for him to come, jumping on him, I don't know why he came. Throwing dagger, hitting basic attacks, so he was stunned all the way through. He couldn't do anything, and that's amazing with Kader. It makes a really, fun, really a fun game. As you can see, no one's, no one's in the middle. Then I'm focusing the middle. He came too far. He, the, this Kader came too far. He jumped on me, he stunned me, but I still managed to kill him. Um, so I'm going back to the, to the lane. Um, because you should always be on your side. Um, even if my teammate Patch is helping the Lanet, I'm still on my side because I had the push, I, I destroyed the tower. And I'm, I'm just uh, taking out that tower at the moment. Okay, okay, this stun is really, really, really bad for Kadar because he almost managed to kill me with that stun. Um, because I couldn't manage to get to him. 
he stunned me uh, and uh, yeah I I didn't escape from this cave and he got me good yeah that was a good job um, but the hardest thing for Kader is if you get um, damaged like slow if you get slowed you're dead it's really hard to play against Hitty he will slow you, you, you won't be getting to him and he will be just killing you uh, but um, so against Kader you have to slow him uh, with, like I do with my dagger I slow him then he can't get to me I dodge his dagger and I jump on him and I kill him because if you're playing with Kader it's important that you deal damage first <laughs> if you don't deal damage first so you're basically dead because you've seen some uh, in this game I will get my health really really low uh, later I will buy some aim uh, armor the enemy Kader won't and that will be a game changer basically I will be surviving two times more than a uh, will and uh, you should always get some armor and you should get armor from the biggest threat you have so I really like a royal guard I will get it in the end of the game um, and now I'm trying to go to the middle to help my teammates because they are two versus two and I want this uh, to be uh, really really great so um, Lanet killed someone that's amazing and I got a kill too so we all get the kills we got the ace and now we're just just going back to our lanes and trying to pu pu push these towers away so as you can see um, we are ha having a really really nice um, farming advantage 50 minions that's a crazy a lot and we have um, like uh, 16 more kills than they do so we are in big 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 gold advantage and, and we, they are having a really rough time um, I, I have respect for them that they didn't quit and as, as you can see they both came on me and I did and I jumped back I don't want to engage, engage them because I could kill one of them but that's too risky and I'm just backing away so as you can see you just want to engage one on one with Kader and you don't want to engage two versus one you can't probably win uh, but uh, you know he's really squishy uh, and Jessica just took out the tower, amazing. Yep, and she's healing me, I waited for that. And uh, now I'm just uh, healing with my basic attacks. I'm not doing any um, spells, just want to get the uh, defense and the heals back. As you can see, I could buy uh, the damage item, um, but I didn't. I went into defense. Um, because, uh, well, so dealing damage is great, but having a good defense is, uh, well, it's crucial. As you, as you, can, as you will see, uh, it will save me a lot of times. So now I'm going, trying to save Lenet, because she's running away, and if she's running away, then she's probably low. Um, just uh, killing this guy, he's just level 6. Oh my gosh, I'm 4 levels higher than him. And now I've saved Jessica. This is a really nice uh, play from my side, um, and just going back to help uh, Patch, but he's doing his job amazing, so he needs no help at all. I'm almost on full build now, because it's almost 15 minutes a game and we are on so huge lead, and just trying to um, kill these minions so they don't push, so our minions can go and push this, and just bought the new weapon. Uh, and jumping on to the enemy as you can see he stunned me for quite a lot I couldn't do anything but now I'm just waiting for my cooldowns to come uh, because you don't want to engage without spells and without the mana also definitely and I, I don't know why the modern legion came <laughs> because he saw we killed two of the teammates and he just came I don't know why um, I know that tower won't kill me, he won't kill me either, that's why I'm attacking and uh, well, I'm getting away now. Um, yeah, my both teammates came and now I want Jessica to heal me, so I'm waiting for her to heal me, just sitting uh, right at her, maybe her ultimate will come up and she will heal me. Um, I'm trying to evade these daggers so I won't die, throwing my daggers at the enemy Kadar, just being in a little bit on the back waiting for Jessica to get the ultimate up 
and <laughs> I did a mistake now. The enemy Kado threw a really nice dagger. So, yeah, this uh, was a mistake. <laughs> I, I should maybe go back to heal and then come back again, uh, but I risked it, you know. Yeah, checking just to get the max amount of damage at the moment because I have nice life still. I have nice defense and uh, I know that I need to deal more damage than I'm dealing at the moment. So I will revive and go back in the fight. As you can see, enemy, my teammates are doing just so amazing. As, as, you, uh, as you saw at the moment, Patch has ton of defense, ton of health. And he hits harder if he has more health. So he's just going unstoppable. Kader versus Patch, let's see who wins. Okay, they're surrounded by two enemies. I'm going back, maybe try to help him. Just check, just will check how he, how is he doing? And there come came the enemy, killed him easily. A <laughs> patch wanted to take him. <laughs> well, he's a funny guy. Um, yeah, trying to take the dragon. I missed my flying dagger, misclick. I'm um, killing him, and then just focusing to get the damage increase. Um, because that's really crucial, it gives tons of damage if you kill the dragon. As you can see, I'm critting from 425, that's just insane, just, just tons amount of damage. Going, buying another prominence, just to have um, maximum damage. I don't know why I thought the enemy was in the bush, uh, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, yep, I'm jumping on this enemy. Oh, he silenced me, I couldn't jump on him. Very good play from him. Oh my gosh, dagger hitting for 330. Wow, that is just amazing. One second and he's dead. As you can see, Kato is really strong, especially if he's buffed uh, uh, with so, so good money flow. So now we're just waiting. Um, we, we, I don't know why, but we want to gauge from the middle. Uh, patch uh, to grab the minion so we can uh, be stealthy and stealthy for stealthness mode for Kedar is just amazing but uh, I just wanted to take it down the tower I didn't care about being stealthy because I can kill them without stealth easily also um, so now we are just gonna get triple kill <laughs> Uh, they they couldn't just uh, take us out. They just couldn't. Uh, we killed them easily. And yeah, guys, this is the end of the game. I hope you liked it. Liked it. And if you did, then comment, uh, rate. Uh, please press the like buttons and um, comment what did you like, what you did it. And if you like the content, then please uh, give, say me so. And um, I will keep posting, guys. Maybe next game will be 5 versus 5. Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day.